Well, 2008 was the second straight year shoppers paid a heftier price for a bag of groceries. Last year, overall food inflation rose to a two-decade high and is still putting a squeeze on consumers. Food processors say record commodity prices last year and the spike in fuel prices are still to blame today. Because what consumers pay can trail producers' costs by as much as six months to a year. As Dustin Milky reports, there are ways for consumers to soften the wallop at the checkout stand. Food, one of our most basic needs, has been thrust into the spotlight over the past year. Food prices, nutrition, and safety have all come to the forefront as Americans are examining their food bills with increasing scrutiny. While the U.S. Department of Agriculture projects a 3 to 4 percent increase for food prices in 2009, consumers can follow a few easy steps to lower their food bills. Sissy Osteen, Associate Professor and Resource Management Specialist at Oklahoma State University's College of Human Environmental Sciences says keeping your food bill in check starts with planning. Planning the meals ahead of time, uh, getting the family involved in that. There are a lot of things that can can increase the cost of food and one of them usually is taking your significant other or your children to the store with you. I'd say if they're going to be involved in that, they can be involved in the planning of it at home. So establish the plan, write down the list for what you're going to buy and then stick with it. And as you head to the grocery store, Osteen says there are supermarket tactics to be aware of. You have to think of the grocery store as a business. When you go in, the store is constantly updating the strategies they have for increasing the amount of money that you will spend there. And so we ha have to be a little bit clever and think of ways for decreasing the amount of money we spend. And it's best to have an idea of how the store is laid out and go pick up the items that you need without spending a lot of time walking around. It's best to spend as little time as possible and to go as few times as possible. So not to go every day. The, the more often you go, the more you spend. In general, too, uh, the more expensive items are placed at eye level in a grocery store. Not buying convenience foods. There's always been a trade-off between money and time. So the less time you have to spend preparing a meal, the more money you're going to pay for it. Although consumers are watching their bottom lines, Osteen says eating healthy is easy to do while spending wisely. I think fresh vegetables and fresh fruits are are very good deal. I've heard a lot of people say, well, I can't buy fresh things because they cost more. But if you shop and plan correctly, you'll be able to find fresh things for a good price. To celebrate the nutritious food that U.S. farmers and ranchers produce, the Oklahoma Farm Bureau Women's Committee donated more than $2,000 worth of food and gift certificates to the Oklahoma City and Tulsa Ronald McDonald houses. Lena Henson, a member of the committee state board and a farmer and rancher, says her organization made the donation to help families in need. We like to make donations to the Ronald McDonald House because families come here that have sick children and they're stressed and they're needy and we like to give food so that they will have something to eat and to help them the time that they are here. Glenda Love, executive director for the Tulsa Ronald McDonald House, says the donation helps the house take care of families who have children receiving medical care. Well, they come at the best time in the whole world in February after all of the people have forgotten about Christmas and Thanksgiving in February. It's just a welcomed event because it stocks our pantry back and helps our families not have to worry for several days about what they're going to eat. And it's quick and it's tasty and they just enjoy the food and gift certificates so much. We could not exist if it weren't for organizations like Farm Bureau and other caring agencies uh, who want to give to people that they don't even know uh, to help assist them at a time of need. Henson says farmers care about the food that consumers purchase. That's just our way of life. We uh, enjoy doing it and we enjoy providing food for people. Farmers and ranchers care about Oklahomans and they care about people. And Osteen says the food that farmers, like Henson, produce is still a good deal. 
I think even with with the increases in prices over time, especially when they were going up a little bit sharper than they are now, it's still a good deal. Cooking at home has always been a better deal than eating out. Involved in all of that is, is people being together, children learning about the, the value, the, the family value of food and eating together and sharing. So I think that that's priceless. Well, some relief for shoppers and food makers is on the way. Corn, wheat, and energy prices have all tumbled since last summer, leading research analysts to believe price inflation will ease this year. Evidence of that has surfaced in recent months. According to Labor Department data, price inflation at the grocery store has been inching down since prices peaked in September.